Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name's Maddie and I post new videos every Sunday. So in this video, you can probably tell this is not my normal bathroom setup. I am officially traveling a little bit for work and moving the bougie biatch that I am. I knew that one of the hotels I was gonna be staying at had a really aesthetically pleasing bathroom. So I decided to wait to film my nighttime skincare routine until I came here. And I got a new robe, so we're just winning all around. Also, this robe, before I forget, is from Target. It feels just like, or it doesn't feel like because I haven't felt it, but it looks just like this robe from Parachute. And this was a fraction of the price, so I'll link it below. It's like super luxurious and cozy, and I'm obsessed. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing my updated nighttime skincare routine. I have a mask I'm gonna be doing. Um, I'm just pulling out all the stops, so and I'm gonna, I'm excited to show you guys. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and let's go ahead and get started. So obviously, since I'm not at home, I don't have my normal like setup of where all my stuff is. So I brought it in this awesome travel bag. Um, this is from Shea Mitchell's travel line called Bays, and they have really awesome stuff. I went ahead and got this, and then I also have the makeup one, or I don't know if it's officially a makeup one, but I put my makeup in it. So basically for this, it opens like this, and it's one of those that can hang, but I like it a lot because I feel like it's a lot more spacious. Like you can see these are like, this is kind of deep that it goes in, um, and then this has like a lot of room right here. So it's great, I really like it. So let's go ahead and jump into my actual skincare routine. So don't come for me, but I actually, I do use makeup wipes. I know a lot of people say like, I don't use makeup wipes, it pulls up my skin. I honestly think I pull up my skin anyways. And I like to wash my face in the shower because I like all of the humidity, or not humidity, like moisture um, that comes with being in the shower. And so I wash my face and to take my makeup off in the shower, I just, I just really enjoy that process. Um, so I'm gonna do that and jump in the shower and then I will come right back after I do that. all clean I got my wine I am ready to do my skincare and get in bed oh so I'm holding this because this is the face wash that I use it is from youth to the people it's one of Sephora's clean skincare brands and it's kale and green tea spinach vitamins superfood cleanser this is the mini one it's super cute very aesthetically pleasing um, but yeah I use that and then for all of my makeup wipe girlies out there. I use these. I, I fluctuate, but these have been working really well for me and I have pretty sensitive skin. It says sensitive skin, experts, kind to skin, cleansing wipes, so. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my toner. So I need to get another one of these, but I've been using this for forever. This is the Ula Henriksen Glow 2 Dark Spot Toner. And I just take a cotton round and put about, I don't know if you can see that, but just like a little squirt and I just go all over my face and make sure I get up in my hairline because you know you can miss some spots right up in there and then under my chin. Um, but yeah, so I've really, I think, mastered my um, pimple prevention skincare. I used to get really bad cystic acne and when it's that time of the month, I can still feel them flaring up, but I really know how to get them gone for the most part. And so I'm gonna show you guys that because it used to be bad like i struggled with acne for as long as i can remember i've been very blessed that it wasn't like the super splotchy kind that's very noticeable but like it's the it was those cystic ones that like hurt you know so now i'm gonna go in and do a mask this is getting me hyped for fall because it smells like pumpkin or pumpkin spice i don't know just everything fall it's amazing it's a summer fridays overtime mask i've used this for a year or so you can see i've kind of been savoring a little bit but i'm gonna use this because i have i'm kind of i used to say i'm combination skin but i honestly feel like i'm leaning more towards dry but even then you still want to make sure you're exfoliating and getting the dead set skin cells off of your face so you still need to make sure you do that and this one's a pretty gentle one um let me see what, what does it have in it soothing oat kernel proteins and free radical fighting antioxidants making this brightening mask the ultimate glow getter so I'm gonna do this, leave it on for, I think it says like 10 minutes, and I'll be right back. So 
been about 10 minutes and I'm gonna take a warm wash rag and gently like exfoliate this off of my face. I'm gonna go around and do a few more circles and gently exfoliate a little bit more because there's like little like particles in there that exfoliate, you know what I mean? Um, and then I'll just get the rest off with some warm water. Now that my mask is off, I'm gonna go ahead and use my nightly retinol. So this is what I got from my dermatologist. I actually need to go back and get a refill because I'm about out, but it's the Epiduo Forte and it works really, really well for me. I use, this is the stronger version, and so I used the less strong version and had to build up to this one because it, my skin, like I said, is kind of dry. But I just take like a small pea size amount and do it all over my face. And this is what has been my saving grace for my skin. It's like a dermatologist had told me, just use it every night. And of course, well, particle there. Um, and of course I was just like, oh, you know, like I'll use it here and there, you know. And then the second I started using it every single night, my skin cleared right up, especially my chin, because my chin was my worst spot. Now I'm gonna go in and spray my face with the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I heard on a video one time, and it was from the founder of La Mer, that if you spray your face with like a spray, even though I have heard the Mario Badescu rose water spray actually isn't very good for your skin. Look it up, don't quote me here. But I use this, I usually just get it in you know the little section when you're checking out at Sephora. Um, but okay, so anyways, so the founder of La Mer said that when you dampen your face like with a spray, it almost acts like, like your face is the damp sponge and it can just absorb the moisturizer that much better when it's a little bit damp. So having a more damp face helps you moisture, get like the most moisture like that goes into your skin with your moisturizer. Does that make sense? Okay. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of spray. I always cover my hair because I feel like I don't want any other grease or not this is grease, but anything else getting in my hairline. So I'm almost out of this. But it's so nice too because it smells like eucalyptus. It's so nice. Trust me. Oh, and that one had my nostrils. Like, nah, I sneeze. This is real life, folks. Oh my god. Oh my god, please hold. Okay, note to self, make sure your eyes are completely closed when you spray that because my eyes literally still hurt. Okay, anyways. So I brought two moisturizers and I was just gonna go off of what my skin was feeling, but it still feels pretty dry. And so I think I'm gonna go in with my Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. Is this like my fourth or fifth one, y'all? This is my ride or die. I don't know. Ryan has it. Like I've gotten everyone on this. It is just the most moisturizing. It's, it can be a mask, but I use it as a nighttime moisturizer. And it doubles as an eye cream, so you're saving money there. But if this is what I brought if my skin wasn't feeling as dry, um, this is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream. I love this stuff too, but for some reason this is just more soothing to my skin when my skin feels dry. So I just do like a little bit there, there, there. And like I said, the nice part about this stuff is that it also doubles as an eye cream. And so I'm gonna have a little eye cream. But I just want to throw it really nicely in. Go under my eyes gently. Bring it down to my neck. And it is just the best. Okay, yeah, we're looking. We're almost ready for bed here. So I'm all moisturized. Now all I need to do is go in with my eyelash serum, which my mom got me an eyelash serum for Easter. And this is the UK Lash. I've never heard of this one. I mean, my sister were kind of like, oh, it's kind of a sketchy brand. But it's worked really well. It's taken some time, but I put this on just to maintain. I probably do this like every night or every other night. And you just go like where you put like liquid liner or regular liner. And it's just been insane. Like I usually put little falsies on the end of my lashes when I go out. And I just haven't even felt the need to do that. And then lastly for lip balm, I'm gonna go in with my Summer Fridays, shocking, lip balm. And this is the lip butter balm and it tastes like vanilla. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I'm gonna put it on my lips. Um, pretty much 
call it a night, but but yeah, so really what I found is when my skin was struggling, I was using just a bunch of products from Sephora because they had pretty packaging and I just really wanted to get my skin clear and it just took me forever. I don't know why it took me so long to realize that that just wasn't it. So really simplicity is key in your skincare. You always wanna make sure you have a vitamin C serum, an SPF, and a retinol. Um, and then just wash your face and always take off your makeup. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I forgot to mention that earlier. Um, and then obviously subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. I post new videos, lifestyle, fashion. Um, I'm gonna be doing interior design when we buy a house soon. Um, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.